in the beginning, when you start teaching, you go in there and you adopt a role. You're to be the teacher. You're the authority up there. It depends on your personality and your training and your self-confidence, if you have any. I didn't have any. So I had to find my way. But many people can go into the classroom and they're all charm and knowledge and everything else and they're powerful. And others go in like timid little mice and sometimes they're destroyed by it. But you do act from time to time. But the ideal way is to drop the act completely and to be honest. I think a lot of actors learn that too. The best acting is no acting at all. Do your lines and be yourself. I think James Cagney said that to somebody sometime. You come in, find your mark, look at your man and tell the truth. And I think teaching forces you to tell the truth. Therefore, you drop the act and you drop the mask. Now that I've finished three volumes of memoir, I have to do something else. So I'm thinking of a novel because uh, I suppose everybody tries a novel sooner or later. I started out writing Teacher Man as a novel, but it didn't work because reality kept intruding. The reality of the teaching experience was more fantastic, I suppose, in a way than anything I could have dreamed up. I hadn't learned how to bring um, fictional characters to life. I hadn't learned yet that many writers model their characters on living people. So that's what I'm doing. I'm snooping around looking at people, thinking I might use them in a novel. They don't know it yet, but they're in danger. <laughs>